Something that really confuses me is every time I talk to married women without fail, 90% of them are like, don't get married, don't do it. And I'm like, oh, okay. They're like, seriously, stay single like you are, don't get married, I don't recommend. And I'm like, oh, like, are you not happy? They're like, no, I love my husband. Like, I would die without my husband, but don't get married. I'm like, I like do not and they're like no my husband's my favorite person on this planet that doesn't even make sense yeah because women like to see other women miserable and women want to be the only one in the friend group who's happy it ain't right while they hang around their friends and they talk about you know how they're struggling and failing at dating to me that's every woman's ideal situation she would be the only successful one in the dating market she would hang around her friends pretending like she's so empathetic that they're you know not succeeding and i'm like yeah, like blink twice if you need help like are we gatekeeping marriage i don't you guys are you're confusing i told this man that work was really busy for the next few weeks so i couldn't hang out but i would hit him up when work wasn't crazy why the fuck are you lying why are you always lying mm, oh my god stop fucking lying he was like oh like how is work really busy right now and i don't know how to tell him that it's not it's just exactly like i do not have the emotional bandwidth to look for another name in my story views i don't have the emotional bandwidth to get a little bit disappointed anytime any single person other than you texts me i just can't have the stress of another man in my life that is bullshit. aka my roster is full i mean yeah anytime a woman say i'll hit you back when work isn't really busy is bullshit. they're attached to their phones every second of the day even at work and trust me, if a woman is really into a guy, there is no excuse on earth that will keep her away from him. I just want to have sex one more time. Leave my house. Leave my house. I'm not having sex with you. Leave my house. Why do you hate me? Leave my house. Why do you hate me? She will drive two hours away and get two hours of sleep for work tomorrow to go see the guy that she's really into for five minutes. So if she's coming up with reasons why she can't talk to you all the time, it's because she doesn't like you. Fucking period. Looking at you, looking at you, you will stress me out because there's almost nothing you could do, nothing you could do to get me to walk away and that is the problem. So I am, work is really crazy. Okay, another interpretation of this video is she's trying to wean herself off a of long John Ryan, but it's never going to work. No matter how many other guys she get on her roster, she's always going to think about him. You know, guys in this community always talk about women getting alpha widowed, but the crazy part is, especially these days, these women have three or four guys that they were alpha widowed by who will always be above you no matter what. It ain't just one guy. Man, I feel lied to, lied to by the culture. Uh, but I'm gonna take full responsibility there, man. I fell for it. <laughs> I fell for the boss, the like, I, I could do everything by myself, that hyper independent. And I'm 31 now. Damn. And I still don't have kids. I Man, so what? The reason why so many women fall for it is because most women are terrible at math and they're terrible at planning and thinking about the future. These women be making 42K a year talking about I'm a girl boss, I'm independent and I don't need nobody. Yes, the f you do. Women think just because they can clear monthly bills, they're doing it so big. Illusion. It's making people think they saw something that they didn't. I could do it by myself. I don't need nobody. I got my own money, my own car, my own house, my own. Shut up. You ain't supposed to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to have a partner. You ain't supposed mm -hmm. to be in this world alone. You know how hard it is carrying all the groceries in by yourself? And it's just a damn shame. It's just silly and it's goofy. I mean, if you had thousands left over after bills, then hey, maybe now we talking. Y'all are so easily manipulated. It's crazy. I was focused on trying to get after the bag and all this yo what i'm in a place now in my life where i'm reevaluating everything all i want is to do is share love and feel with people and it's like no you don't get any of that you dirty whore <laughs> Yeah, because she's struggling. Now, see, if she actually was making 150 k a year, she wouldn't realize this until probably her 40s or 50s. She's struggling with bills, and she doesn't have any friends. And she doesn't have anywhere to run. When women have places to run and things to distract them, they don't have this epiphany till way later down the line. I mean, they have it, but they can keep, you know, ignoring it as long as they have distractions. But when they don't have any friends and their family ain't really effing with them like that and struggling with bills, they don't have anywhere to run. So they run to TikTok and just come across even more bad and embarrass themselves on the internet. What a shame. My values, my perspectives, what I really want in the future. And what I really want is a family. Too late. 
is a family. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Everything around us, society in general, wants to push that women, the woman is the future. No, the family is the future. Well, duh. Yeah, 31, it's just, it's too late. It really is. You were supposed to be conditioned to be that family woman, really from birth. But you could have got it together around 19, 20, 21. But 31 now, nah, it's a decade too late. You've already been conditioned to be what you are right now. So even if you did find the perfect man and got pregnant bomb, you're going to sabotage that relationship. You're not going to be content with it. You're going to be dissatisfied with it. So just stay single and keep grinding. Grinding. What's your definition of a high value man and what do you think a high value woman is? I really agree with what Donovan said regarding a high value man. I think it's someone who is respectable, respected by both men and women. Here's one thing I want to say. I don't give a fuck about being respected by other men. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? See, men want to be the big dog in the room. So a lot of times men are looking for a reason not to respect you so they can see themselves as the big dog in the room. And that's the main reason why I don't care about male respect. Because as soon as I walk in a room, men have an incentive to try to not respect me or try to find something to not respect me about so they can feel superior to me. So, yeah, fellas, don't use that as the barometer. Like, just be a good man and be righteous and do the right thing. And funny thing is, being a really good guy, doing the right thing and being really righteous in a lot of rooms, a lot of male spaces, that's going to be the thing that gets you the least respect. Because a lot of time in male spaces, you got to be ignorant and immature to get respect. That's a damn shame. And I think a high value woman is someone who is easy to love, but also easy to lose. And what I mean by that is she's easy to love because she loves herself. She's fun to be around. And when I mean she loves herself, I don't mean she's full of herself. She's just someone who's genuinely happy with her life and is happy on her own. She doesn't need a man to be happy. Oh and she's easy go. to lose because she has high standards. And if you don't meet those standards, then you don't need to be a part of her life. I would say the best women have fair standards. They're satisfied with the small things. Those are the best women to be with. She's content with just cuddling up, watching the show, and she's into you, so she'll go eat fast food with you. Those are the best women. The best women aren't easy to lose. The best women are extremely loyal. But women don't know what they're talking about, so... She doesn't uh, want to, she wants a man, but she doesn't need a man. Yes. We're going to circle back to that. Easy to MLD. lose. MLD. Yeah, yeah, I was, was going to yeah. ask the same easy, thing. What do you mean easy, easy to, to lose? lose? Like, what's, what's the buffer on that? She sets the standard for herself, and if mm -hmm. you don't meet that standard, she's ready to, to walk away. Are you aware that there are more high-value men than high-value women? Sure. Okay. So, like, what's the, what, like, is it one strike, you're out? No, like, I mean, it's, like I think you guys are really trying period? to take what I said and run with it. Calm and make down, it very... we're not lawyers, <laughs> calm down. No, we're just... You don't know what you're talking about, do you? That's what they say when they can't explain what they're talking about. Oh, you guys are trying to take what I say and run with it. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. You said it. So we're holding your feet to the fire about what you said. They can't handle that. So she's going to turn it back on them and shame them for trying to clarify what she said. It's pathetic. Pathetic. Man you're supposed to go on a date with doesn't text you the morning of the date. Don't go on that date. Every time I say guys should confirm before a date, there's always guys being like, well, you girls find us so creepy when we text you so much. It's so hard being a nice guy. Babes, why are you telling on yourself? If girls are thinking you're creepy, it's not because of a confirmation text. It's so easy to be deemed creepy by a chick though. It doesn't take anything. You send one wrong text, make one wrong joke, you know, cut your eyes the wrong way or something. You know what I mean? Put your left foot in front of your right foot the wrong way. It gives her the ick or you're a creep. It's that simple. See, the key is to not give a f See, women can sense when you're pressed for them or not. Women can sense when you're, you know, eager to please. And this is when they make you jump through hoops and they have you, you know, walking on eggshells. Just don't give a f Do whatever you want to do. And if she don't like it, then cool. Don't text me back. Don't go on a date. I'm not tripping. They can tell when you have that type of attitude. And it usually works in your advantage. What do you think, guys? Are those double Ds, double Fs? What are those? It's a mystery every one of you has got to solve. You get to say that about a woman. Why can't you say women are wrong when they're wrong? You want to be making moves on the street. No attachments. Allow nothing to be in your life that you cannot walk out on in 30 seconds flat. Okay, first of all, I didn't miss the red flags. I looked at them and thought, damn, that's sexy. And that's my problem. 